99.9 WHAM Wham Radio Season 7 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio <laughs> That's it for tonight, Bird Dogs I hope you guys had a fun time But you know how we roll Say it with me, meow Keep your stick on the ice And heads in the clouds <laughs> I'll see y'all Monday At the same lemur time and place For some lemur antics <laughs> I crack myself right up Have a great night, everyone Pick up your phone, dummy. Pick up your phone, dummy. Pick up your phone, dummy. Pick up your phone. Hey, hey. What's goody, bird dog? Hey, Lean. It's Black Amanda. And you know, I was just sitting at home bored. But you'll never guess what I was just thinking. Um, I don't know. Taking a shit in a little box. Maybe a can of toy. Scratch and post. No, you idiot. But, um, so, you know what? This this would just be easier if I could just pop over. Um, okay, sure. I'm at the... Ah! Amanda, what the hell? I'm going to let that slide this one time that you didn't call me Flocked Amanda. And what? I said pop over. I figured you were here at the radio station since you just signed off. Well, don't ever do that again. I think I just lost one of my six lives. Six? Yeah, lemurs have six, like cats have nine. Really? Interesting. But okay. So I was thinking we never really hang out. We're friends, right? We should do something fun together. I don't know. It's like nine at night, and I gotta be here for 5 a.m. to do the morning show with... One, um, no you don't. Tomorrow's Saturday. And two, oh, come on. I have something really fun planned, and it's gonna blow your mind. Blow my wad, you say? Hmm. Mind. Mind. You pervert. <laughs> Okay, fine. I guess I'm game. So, what are we doing again? This! What the holy hellhounds? What is that giant circle thing that appeared out of nowhere? It's a portal I created with my Duclaw. It leads to different realities. Want to see for yourself? Then follow me. Fuck the man ran through the portal and Lemur stood there in establishment talking to himself for a moment. Could this really be happening or did I smoke too much weed again? Hmm. Maybe I ate chocolate and I don't remember. And this is like a hallucination? I don't know. Oh well, I guess I have five more lives to figure this out. So, um, yeah, let's freaking do this. Ah! Lemur jumps through the portal and it closes after he enters it. As he is falling, he sees other versions of himself falling as well all around him. Before he could do anything else, a portal opens up below his feet where he's falling, and he lands on the ground somewhere new. Holy crap! What the hell is going on? What happened to my paws? And, oh, my wiener's gone too! Okay, so don't freak out, but this reality is the alpha. Wham Radio wouldn't exist without this reality. Right now, you're Josh, right? Yeah. The creator and voice actor for Lemur slash Rocky slash Amanda Tori Hug slash narrator slash Morty slash holy crap, the list goes on and on. He does a lot of voices. Okay, I get it. This dude is like our father. That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, look, I think I'm wearing a costume. Yes, you are. In this reality, we are called humans, and they live in peace with the animals. Well, for the most part. Oh, okay, cool. Do they do anything special, or, um... Oh, hey, look, I found my wiener! No, I'm pretty sure that is not your wiener, but no, not really. Fun fact, I'm married with kids in this reality, and you're a cartoon voice actor who cleans. Cool, cool, yeah, yeah, I don't care. All right, I'm sold. Where's the next reality you want to go? The 3D of this reality is kind of freaky looking. I don't like it. I know, right? We might even be in 4D, I think. But here's the problem. I don't really choose where we go. It just kind of uh, happens. Wait, what? Then how the hell are we going to get back to our reality? Follow me and find out. Damn it, I hate that she does that. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. Maybe the next reality I'll be a king. Or, a uh, president? Lemur went and followed Flock and jumped into the portal. As he looked all around in the everlasting gaze of different colors, he was floating in. Another portal would open up from below and suck him inside, along with Flock Amanda. Ta-da! Now that's how you stick a landing. 
Ow! What the hell? That's the only part of doing this that totally sucks. It's the falling on the ground when you hit a new reality. Like, what the hell? It freaking hurts! Oh, shit! I was hoping we would skip this reality. All right, hurry up. Come on, Lean. We gotta go now. Lemur looked up to the ground and saw another version of Flocked Amanda. What was weird was she would have another version of him tied up. In a matter of seconds, the other version of Flocked Amanda would devour the other version of Lemur whole and then burp. She would then turn and look at the other Lemur and Flocked Amanda that was in the room and say, Why, hello. <laughs> Oh, my Pugs Bunny, you're the Lemur from Season 7, Episode 2. You're the one I'm looking for. Get your sexy, fuzzy Lemur ass over here. Who? Oh, my Bugs Bunny. Flock to Manda. Hurry up, let's get out of here. The demonic Flock to Manda launched towards Lemur as he jumped towards the portal. He would be halfway through when she managed to grab his ankle. No, the prophecy said you would be here. You're the one I need. Give me that tail! Get out of here! Amanda, help me! Get this imposter off of me! I'm not an imposter! You came to my reality! And also, no, I'm never letting you go! <laughs> You're mine! <laughs> Lemur would hurry up and manage to kick her, but she would still have a death grip on his tail. Lemur would be slipping slowly out of her paws, and in a matter of seconds, he would successfully make it through the portal and start to fall towards a new reality, while talking to himself. Phew! That has to be the scariest thing that has ever happened in my life, and I've had some scary things happen. <laughs> I'm just glad I got out of there with everything. Yep, six lighter, waddle weed, cell phone. Hey, oh my bugs, look at all the different me's falling in reality at the same time. That lemur looks small like Rocky size. And that one's a uh, lady? Um, 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 and that one over there's got a stubby tail. <laughs> looks like each one of us is going through a weird different portal as we all fall through this kaleidoscope of colors. Oh, my turn. Liam, Lemur, are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Why, what's wrong? Nothing, just making sure it's really you. Yeah, it's me, who else would it be? Well, it could be another version of you. Holy shit on a Sunday. What the hell happened to your tail? Nothing, it's... Whoa! My beautiful lemur tail that had five rings on it. No, oh, come on! Now it only has four, and the end of it's all stubby and hairless. What? All right, that's it, I've had enough. Take me back to our reality now. You know, the one that we originally came from? I can't do that. Why the hell not? Because I don't even know what reality that was. You see, there's a problem going on that I didn't tell you about. What? Well, I don't know if you're ready yet. Re ready? My tail is perfectly fine before we left, and now it's all stubby. I think I'm freaking ready. Lay it on me, sister. That's just it. I'm Rocky's sister. B.S. No, it's really true. But the reality we were in was about to become an incursion, which means it was going to blend in with another reality and reformat. Causing what makes you, you, and me, me, cease to exist completely. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't understand a word that you just said. Okay, let's try explaining it this way. Do you remember Rocky, Fauna, Pixie, Ramona, Chuckwood, Tommy, and everyone else? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. I've managed to keep the radio station floating all these years after they all passed away. Well, all except for Rocky. Who knows whatever the hell happened to him. Okay, but that's just it. That's your reality. And it was going to be destroyed anyway. So, with that said, let's find a new one with everybody. But I don't want to restart my life. I was happy with the one that I was living. Really? So, when Fauna left for a month's vacation and ended up dying in a freak plane accident, and a week later Tommy killed himself, you don't want to try to go back and see if we can find a reality where that never happened? No, I don't. It's called a butterfly effect. What if by stopping something innocent, it created something worse? Or what if that's what happened to begin with? If I knew that that was your plan, I wouldn't have even come. You know me. 
I've been studying this for a while, and I think if we can find the right Rocky to save, we can fix everything. The right Rocky to save? Yes. So, there's rumors of a Rocky that took part in a government project called Quantum Wham. This allowed him to travel through time to try to fix parts of history, but for the better? Um, okay. Cuckoo. Why am I even listening to this? What's this got to do with us? Okay, so if we can find that Rocky and save him, we might be able to pull him out of the loop and stop the incursions and blending of realities. Save Rocky? Oh my Bugs Bunny. Wait, holy cow. I think I remember being a part of a, um, quantum wham project and being sent in to find him, but something happened and we got separated. My theory is, is that when we save him, it will create a new reality completely as we know it. Maybe even make that reality the prime reality. Now instead of, you know, the one we went to earlier. Hey, hold up. Who the hell is that guy? Hey, hello? Holy shit, is that a lemur and a talking kitty cat? Please, help me. I can't remember. Whoa! This might be the reality that Rocky created. It's called the Rope Defenders. It means we're getting close. Come on! Hurry up and follow me into the next portal. Let's go. Okay, so pretty much all I've learned so far is that we gotta save Rocky to save reality. Oh, and I think Black Amanda is a little bit cray cray. <laughs> yeah, definitely for sure. They both entered in the new portal, and Lemur would say, Holy cow! Look at all the colors! I gotta admit that going from different reality to reality sure is beautiful. Oh my bugs, bunny. Lemur, look out! Do a barrel roll! Barrel roll? What the hell is that? Turn left or right now, you idiot! Well, which one is it? Left or right? And what? Oh, don't bother! As they were traveling inside of a sphere that could only be described as of a kaleidoscope of different colors in infinity time. A flare of rainbow energy ignites from the side of the spear they are traveling in and goes to strike Flock Amanda but misses. Lemur uses all of his might but can't move left or right. As the death wave goes to reach his feet, a portal would open up and Lemur would just narrowly escape inside of it. Flock Amanda would say, Ah, shit. I think I done did gone fucked up. Oh well. Better get started. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for every cat's favorite show, Mice and Birds. No, my tailbone. Lemur's right. That does hurt when you fall. Huh? What is that you said? Lemur was right? I think you might have to say it again. I didn't quite hear you. Oh, my Bugs Bunny. Lem, is that you? Um, yeah, yeah. Come on, sit down. Our favorite show is on. I'm glad you got me watching this. It's pretty good. I'm sorry. I'm having a moment. What were we doing? Watching what now? We're watching Mice and Birds, our favorite show. It's Wednesday night, our normal hangout night. I mean, are you okay? You seem confuzzled. Hey, wait a minute. This never happened, did it? Sure it did. I can prove it. Okay. Do it then. Gladly. I want you to do something completely random, and I will write down what it is before you do it. There's no way I can know what it was, right? It's completely random. I guess. Okay, write your thing down, and then I'll do my thing, and we'll see if it's the same. Okay, and done. Go ahead and do your thing. Black Amanda got up and took a shit in their litter box, and then cleaned herself. Lemur would say, See, see, I knew it. Boom. <laughs> Lemur flipped over the piece of paper that said took a crap in the litter box, then cleaned self. But how could you know that? Unless you were a... What? A demon like you? Come on, Black Amanda. Say my name three times and link our souls forever. Nope. Not today, bud. I'm on a mission. Maybe tomorrow, though. Black Amanda quickly ran out of the room and opened up a board and jumped inside. In a matter of seconds of being inside the time sphere of colors, Flock Amanda quickly opened up another portal and this time landed in an all-white room. As she looked above her head, she would see videos that would only be described as her life. As she looked all around, she would hear weird voices talking. Hello, my child. Oh, a new soul to feast upon. Hello? Who's there? You belong with us. All right, quit the crap and show yourselves. I know you're not inside my freaking head. Stay here, brother, now. Huh? What the hell is happening? Yeah! <laughs> I'm going to take her place in her body and sentence her to stay here with you guys. No, I, 
I, oh, won't you just let go, you, oh. I'm not strong enough to do this by myself. I am. Number two, he tried to escape. Oh, let her go. Let me go. But master, we almost got. Shut up and do as I say. <laughs> You suckers, I'm out of here. But why the hell do we have to do that? Just watch. <laughs> because, see, we all get out of here, or none of us do. After Flock Amanda got free, she jumped up above her head and into a video memory floating in the air. The next thing she would see would be the WHAM Wham Radio Station Lobby. She was sitting behind the secretary's desk when the phone began ringing. As she looked up, she would see Lemur and Rocky sitting in the waiting room. That's it. I've had enough of everyone's bullshit around here. Fuck a you, and fuck you, but most of all, fuck you two. Who the hell is that lady? I don't know, I have no clue. This is only my first day here, but I'm pretty bad at remembering names. Right, Timmy? Ugh. It's Lemur. In the background of Lemur and Rocky talking inside the lobby of Wham Radio, outside we see Flocked Amanda open a portal and hop into it. It wouldn't be long before she opened up another portal inside the kaleidoscope of colors and would go inside of that. This time, when she landed in a reality, she would be inside of a dark room with nothing but Bunko Flops inside. So, let's see what you have. There's a funnel, yes, yes, a wick and bake that's scented. Also, Limer and Rocket, yes, yes, very good. I'll take them all. Here, here, I have the cash, but I want the flocked metallic and glow in the dark exclusives as well. I might not be able to beat them, but now I can break their adorable flippy flopply blubble heads. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Great, where am I now? So, do we have a deal or not? Come on, time is of the essence, and my essence is made of money. Yeah, sure, whatever. Here. Wait, was that something supposed to happen? Hey, Chuck, over here. I think I found her. Frick. Ugh, just keep trying to teleport to the next reality. Hopes that it was the right one. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Sorry, Chuck and Lemur. You're too late to recover your precious punk of flop bobbleheads. <laughs> Fuck the man that summoned a portal and would jump into it. While inside the kaleidoscope of colors, she opened a different portal to all the different episodes she had been in. As she's looking through them at each one of the different realities, she sees the one where she ate Lemur and goes back to that reality. Ah, uh, yes. So I finally got a piece to the Lemur I need. Now, it'll be easy to track him. <laughs> when I get his DNA to mix with DNA, who knows what could be created. Perhaps this is how humans come to be? Huh? Who's there? I just heard a sound. Show yourself! Okay, listen. I know this sounds weird, but I need a clump of lemur for you. What? what? I, I don't have any lemur fur. <laughs> yes, you do. You mangled his perfect tail to stubby. Now give it to me. Over my dead body. Okay. Flucked Amanda ran forward to the demonic version of herself, screaming a warrior's call, while the demon version of herself began to laugh sinisterly before pouncing on top of Flucked Amanda. As they run past one another, Flucked Amanda would swipe the air in front of the demon version of herself, cutting the whiskers from her face. She immediately noticed and looked down and would run into a portal that Flucked Amanda created from sliding the air in front of the demon version of herself. These would be her last words before she fell through the portal. You haven't seen the last of me. <coughs> I'll have my revenge. Stupid bitch. She shouldn't have made a deal with Morty the Mortician. What? I can say that. What's wrong with me calling myself a bitch? She was. <coughs> okay. Now, what was I here for again? Oh, yeah. Lemur clump of fur for my collection. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> but with this, I think I can hone in and locate him now instead of jumping from reality to reality at random. Alrighty then. Here I go again on my own. Well, I need a drum set. 
Locked the mano, closed her eyes in hopes that this would work as she jumps through the portal holding the clump of lemur's fur. When she opened up her eyes, she's located in time in the kaleidoscope of colors. As she looks around, she realizes she's not moving but standing still, but it's reality around her that's always in perpetual motion. She would look up above and would see a time flare form above her head and start coming at her. As she panicked, she would look all around her, right, left, and below, and noticed other time flares had formed as well. She took a quick breath and got to work. Oh, shit. That's two realities getting ready to come together to form one. Wait, how the hell do I know that? Oh, well. Wait, crap. Having a hard time opening up a portal. So whatever the next reality I end up in, I might have to stay in for a hot minute to recover. I think these time flares are forming because I am staying in the kaleidoscope for way too long. She reached down to the ground with her dewclaw and made a circle, but nothing would happen, and the time flares would be getting closer. She would hurry up and try again, but it wouldn't work. She looked all around and accepted her fate, and the time flares would all hit her at once. We see her break into different pieces like broken glass, and the time stream she was in resets. The time flares recede, and we see Flock Demanda disappear as she splits into many versions of herself. As time settles, we see a random portal open up, and as we look inside of it, we hear... Oh! Damn, that hurts like a mama jamma! Great, where the hell am I now? Looks like I'm on some stupid freaking train. Hello, Lemur, welcome aboard! Your friendly Rocky should be with us any minute! Rocky? Like, my bird dog, Rocky? Yes! He's the one who's got lost in the quantum wham experiment, as are you, and depending on your choices... Okay, so what are my choices? It's simple! Stay here or go home! Well, that's an easy one. Let me go home. But don't you realize what you're giving up? It's a restart! No, I understand. And to be honest, it was hard enough outliving them all. I don't think I want to do it again. Send me back so I can finish what I gotta do. Uh, fair enough. Your choice is made. Lemur disappeared and returned back to his time. But we see that Lemur didn't exactly go back to where we found him at the start of the episode, as he was the Lemur that was trapped from a different reality. You know, season six. Episode 10, Quantum Wham. When he arrives, he is greeted by everyone, but Rocky, who is still missing. A drain guard would be opened and Rocky would be thrown from the previous car into this one, and he would say, Okay, so I've tried to save Sadie now in like every friggin' reality. I still haven't leaped home. What the hell is going on here with these stupid train cars? That's because up until now, there was a certain thing required to be done that just got done. I'm so confused and tired. I mean, I know I'm on a mission to help animals, leap to leap, but who was I really? Oh, my bugs, bunny. I'm so exhausted, I don't even know anymore. But does who you are really matter, or do your actions speak louder than your words? Um, what? I'll offer you a choice to continue on with your mission of leaping knowing it could go on for eternity. Or you could choose to stop and go home. But if I chose to stop, wouldn't that just return me to my original reality? Maybe. I don't know. And with all the progress you've made, repairing time would be done. It's whatever it is if you stop now, but still the choice is yours. A portal would form in the drain bar and Fly Commando would have urged out of it, saying, Holy hell, I freaking did it! But, but, how? I saw you get taken apart from a time flare! Actually, more like obliterated, but not really. I understand how I got these powers now, and you're not the conductor of this train, are you? Perhaps there's only one way you could possibly know that. You must be a leaper as well. And here I thought Rocky was the original. <laughs> it must be you. Wait. Who are you really? Show yourself! Well, since you figured me out, with pleasure, I'm the Wiz, and nobody beats me. I bet you don't remember, I'm the one that bought all the Punko Flap Bubble Heads off of you. <laughs> Holy cow! This is Rocky from the Quantum Wham Experiment. He's the one I was sent here to save! Figures I find this one and lose the lemur one. <laughs> You just missed Lima. I've sent him back to his reality for his request. Of course. Go ahead, try and save him. But you risk letting me get away. Frack! All the memories I made with Lemur were with that one. 
son of a bitch! I guess I'll have to just try again. This rocky here seems content on staying with me and going towards his final destination. Hold up, wait, what? I never said that, did I? Oh, no, 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 no. That cannot happen. This Rocky being out of his time stream is what's been sending the different realities crashing into one another. I know. It's been a feast for me. I collect, torture, and devour them all. Just to bring them back to life and do it again. Oh, 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 oh. holy shnike. Is that what that last train car was about? The one with all the Rockies? Oh! Them poor little dead Ricky soul. Go ahead, try some. I have nothing to worry about. As we're all in Purgatory and High Ruler here, the one you deem Rocky shall be given a choice that only he can make, depending on his answer, is what also gets decided for you. I don't think you understand who you're messing with. I'm sorry, but do you? <laughs> You're some C-rated villain from a podcast no one's even heard of. And yes, yes, but so are you. Scary, right? I still got it. Wait, hold up a second. A human form disappeared into a giant, dark, puffy, angry cloud with red bead-shaped eyes and mouth. As it glared at Flotamanda, she would get frozen in place. You know what I'm thinking? That's two of you. So, that should be two of me. Uh, there we go. Say something. Okay, Rocky, I know you're tired, but I can, I can promise you, you have done a lot of good. Animals who are dead are no longer. You have seen the more realities now than you have destroyed. And believe me, a couple of them have it coming. <laughs> But I present you with a choice. Would you like to return to your reality, or would you like to continue on with this little journey of living and saving lives? lives? Rocky, please come home with me. I'm here to. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no helping him. This choice has to be made by him. Him alone. I think I want to continue on this journey and help animal. Plus, seeing all the cool different realities is pretty shabby. <laughs> I really like the one where I was a human in a raccoon suit and Lemur was a stuffed animal. Ugh, holy diver. I knew that Idget wasn't going to make the right choice, so I guess I'm going to have to make it for him. The conductor would look over to Black Amanda and pass a gloating look as she would be gone. What? How, How could, could this be? be? I froze her place. place. There's no one more powerful in this dimension than me. me. <laughs> Attacks me, told me, are useless. You might as well attack the air around you. You'll have about the same luck. What? How, How could, could this be? be? I froze her place. There's no more powerful in this dimension than me. Hey, you. It's over here. And join yourself back up with me. Hey, loser. Nice try. But guess what? I win. Fuck the man up out around with the speed of a lover. She flashed in and out of different portals from around the room, increasing her speed to its highest velocity. It would be so fast, she would be untraceable with the naked eye. A confused Rocky would suddenly disappear into one of those random portals in the room. And in a matter of seconds, it would all come to an abrupt stop, and a calm would be sensed in the air. What in the actual fuck? Just step in the air. If Rocky wasn't the prime leaper, then it must be thought. Amanda! Yes, yes. That's right. Run away. You haven't seen the last of me, because nobody beats the ways. Son of a glitch. What the hell is that beeping noise? Oh, fuck. I was so close to leaving this place and forcing someone to take it for me. Oh, wait, did she drop a thing inside me? No. No! No!